This is my alarm clock with uh, Tetris to prove you're awake. <clears throat> the basic idea is that uh, you have to play a few, uh, clear a few lines of Tetris before it'll turn off completely. Now any button will silence it temporarily so you don't have to sit there and listen to the alarm go off while you're trying to play. It has uh, two alarms actually. Uh, a standard alarm that, that just goes off the next time that time is reached, just like any other alarm. Plus it has what I call a persistent alarm, which uh, goes off at the same time Monday through Friday. And so you don't have to uh, keep worrying about turning it on every morning and uh, turning it off for the week and things like that. It'll just go off every Monday through Friday. Uh, in the top here you can kind of see it sideways. You can see how many lines you've cleared. You have to clear four before it declares you awake and uh, turns off completely. Um, if you leave it for 30 seconds without touching it, uh, it assumes that you've fallen asleep and then it'll start to beep again while we're waiting for 30 seconds to go by. You can see the buttons on the front here. Um, many little holes I drilled in the top to let the, uh, the sound come out. If we pop it open, um, it gets power actually from this base. You can see the cord coming out of here. And um, it also has a... See, there we go. Now it thinks you're asleep, so it starts going off again. And then once you wake up, you have to just keep playing before you can, uh, before it will let you, uh, before it will turn off completely. And there we go. Uh, there's a, a rechargeable battery inside that uh, allows you to take it off the base, and uh, so it's a little bit easier to play Tetris. Uh, I also put a, a key in the back, a keyed switch, the idea being that uh, if the alarm goes off and you're not around, your wife or parents or roommate or whoever can turn it off with the key so they don't have to sit there and, and play Tetris to, to turn the silly thing off. And um, that's about it. it uh, you can adjust the brightness of the, uh, of the display. I'm going to turn the light back off again. Until it gets super bright or pretty dark and, you know, at night, it's not in a dark room, it's nice to have it pretty dim, but during the day you might want to turn it up a little bit. It's also a little bit tough to see, but uh, the day of the week is in here, indicated here with Monday. Uh, AM or PM is indicated here. And um, which alarm is set to go off next? A little P for the persistent alarm. Before this went off, there was an O for the one-time alarm. And a little S appears when you're in the middle of a snooze. And uh, the whole thing is powered by Arduino. When you take it off the base, after again 30 seconds, the backlight will turn off to uh, save power and just to indicate that it's not actually plugged in. Um, you can hit snooze twice before you have to turn it off and uh, any button will snooze it and uh, then after alarm goes off and you can't snooze anymore the alarm will still be temporarily silenced for 30 seconds, I think I mentioned that. And um, things like uh, the snooze interval is right, the default is seven and a half minutes, and you're allowed two snooze intervals. See, now it's turned off. Hitting a button will turn it back on, or putting it on the base will turn it back on. So the snooze interval of seven minutes and the number of times you can hit snooze of, of twice is all configurable, and the number of lines you have to clear, the default being four, is also configurable. Go to uh, instructables.com to uh, find the full instructions on how to make this if you'd like. And uh, that'll be up after uh, July 4th, 2011. I'm just starting to work on it right now, so it might be a few days before it gets up. That's it.